If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. As far as weather to take the guy or not, yeah. I would say those decisions are already made because you've done all that. You've hashed it all out as far as whether you think he's a good enough player or not. So you've decided that we, we want him. He's going to be our guy. And then it becomes a haggling. Are you going to get him or not? Or how are you going to get him? Do you have to trade up? Do you have to trade back? We went through that last year. You know, the whole discussion was, do you trade up to get Matt Ryan? Uh, do, you tr- do, you take, do you take Joe Flacco at eight? Do you tra- can you trade back and still get Joe Flacco and pick up some more picks, which is what we were able to do. That was our, it was more strategic at that point. Did you kind of have an idea where he was going to go? Uh, I mean, at, before you going, going into that day? Uh, we or thought, did it, you, we, was it like by feel as the, as the round progressed? Yeah, we thought we were going to need to get him, you know, in the first round, you know, in the 20s, high teens, well, kind of where it happened, or early 20s. Mm-hmm. But I don't know for sure if, we'd have, if we could have waited. So we ended up trading up from, what, 26 to 18, I think? So the debate we always have now is could we have got him at 26, <laughs> you know? Well, and the debate we had at the moment was, are we willing to take the risk? Because we didn't want to give up the pick. That's another player that we could have had on our team that would have been a good player, a second or third round pick. But then, well, then we risk losing Joe. And we've heard rumors since that there are people that were going to take him in that middle area. So, But then, you know, who knows if that's true. Yeah, yeah. I say, yeah. I'm glad we got him. Yeah. <laughs> so aren't the fans. Yeah. You talked about the, the need for that kind of quarterback. I mean, you liken it a little bit to what Andy did in 99 with McNabb. I mean, knowing that that's where he had to start with getting a, getting a guy to... Yeah. To me, it's kind of, I mean, to me, that's a great point. That, that's what the model I saw was having the quarterback your first year and then building your team around him. The thing that's interesting to me is when you have the quarterback in place, it really becomes really kind of clear and evident what else you need. If the quarterback's not in place, it's just kind of it's kind of murky. You know, what kind of receivers are you going to What kind of running backs? How are you going to build your offense? It's all kind of muddled. And when you get the quarterback, it just seems like it's easier to define. You know what, this guy is going to be a good fit in what we're trying to do as an offense. You know, so that's kind of the deal. But... The, the good fortune is that there was a guy available that first year. There are plenty of times you can go into your first year and it just isn't the quarterback. He's not there. And then you have to wait. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.